Ladies and gentlemen, every year we have this tradition to pick our alumni that has given a contribution, Pak. As Pak Masamanik said, a contribution, significant contributions to the thought leadership. It's called the Bustanil Arifin Thought Leadership Award. And this year, uh, Bustanil Thought Leadership Award 2017. Yeah. Thought leaders genuinely influence others by creating, advancing, and sharing ideas. Thought leaders' objective is to help others. In business, thought leaders revolutionize ways, way others, both inside and outside their companies, do, uh, the companies do business. Our Bustanil Arifin Thought Leadership Award 2017 recipient is confidently promote their ideas, earn respect from outside world for their deep understanding and become the most trusted advisor. She started her career as commissioning engineering at PT PLN Persero in 1993. In 1996 until 2003, she became expert in commerce and finance division for the transmission and dispatch center. In 2006 until 2009, she became deputy director for strategy and corporate planning. All milestones were still in the same company. Respectfully, in managing career and family, she finished her study at IPMI International Business School and Monash University, and officially she was part of 2001 July Executive MBA class. In 2009 until 2017, she was the CEO of PT Penjaminan Infrastruktur Indonesia Persero, and recently she started serving the industry as chairwoman and CEO of Lembaga Pembiayaan Export Indonesia, Indonesia Exim Bank. She's proven to have IPMI DNA. She's fast, sharp, and relevant. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ibu Cynthia Rusli. Congratulations to Ibu Cynthia Rusti. We also would like to invite Bapak Emil Arifin to come forward to the stage to present the West Bustanil Arifin Thought Leadership Award. This year, the award goes to Ibu Cynthia Rusli as the chairwoman and CEO of Indonesia Exim Bank, which is also an alumni of IPMI International Business School from 2001 July MBE MBA class. Thank you very much, Pak Emil Arifin, and to Prof. Roy Sambel. Ibu Cynthia, we would like to ask for one or two speech for, from you regarding your award, please. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm very honored to be uh, appointed as, uh, I don't know, Bustan Arifin Thoughtful Leadership Award. I suppose this has to be given to Pak Masa but because he's not an alumni, I believe. So I think this is a really great honor for me. Uh, honorable Board of Trustees, Executive Directors, and Senate of IPMI International Business Schools. Uh, I promise today that will take not that long. So I'm sure that all the 115 graduates today are very impatient to get out out of this room and enjoy your uh, graduate life. I know for the fact that, you know, my daughter 
as always all eager to go out of school and the bell rings. So first of all, uh, I would like to say Alhamdulillah Rabbil uh, Thanks for uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, God Almighty, that for this uh, you know blessing in receiving this uh, Bustani Arifin uh, Award today. It's not uh, just a blessing to me, but also to my corporations that I uh, you know uh, pre represented. Secondly, I would like to thank uh, to IPMI Business School. I truly believe that all graduates today are all very lucky, are all very lucky people. I have graduated from a very great business school like IPMI. You have the advantage and upper hand in diving into the business world. Really, now, why I say this is this because I was in your shoes 15 years ago. Graduates, I was the first youngest woman, high level officials at PLN at that time to gain the highest internal career in PLN. I was the first employee, thank you. I was also the first employee to be assigned as the CEO uh, of the state-owned enterprise under the Ministry of Finance back uh, at the end of 2009 uh, where the government established a newly uh, SOE under the Ministry of Finance which the mandate is to provide uh, guarantees for PPP infrastructures. Within seven years after the appointment, I managed to provide guarantees for the projects, PPP infrastructure projects worth around 120 trillion rupiah and also set up the governance and risk management system for the company that has made this institution won uh, two consecutive risk, ASEAN risk awards uh, consecutively in 2016 and 2017. Why am I listing all these achievements you ask? It's because I'm an electrical engineer by background and uh, I have no prior business exposure uh, before joining IPMI. And I could do all that. So imagine what you could do. I really, you know, uh, frankly tell you that uh, having studied at IPMI has helped me to be able to do all of the works uh, till today. Dear graduates, you know, you have all endured with endless hours of deadlines, due dates, and classes, you may be tired and ready to get off and have a full night's sleep from now. But trust me, you know, 15 years from now on, you look back and can have a say like what I do today, that wow, turns out going to eat me really is helpful. So eat me teaching methods which use case studies, turns out that uh, for me, it made me easily face the real, real world problems and issues that needed structured framework in thinking. It me helped me derive complex problems by chopping up the issues and trying to find out options for solutions, looking into risk aspects and framing it onto my decision-making process. Not only that, but listening to others' thoughts and insights as we work in groups, as you may know, and presenting before the class allowed me to look from other perspective and something that is greatly needed in dealing with real life situations. So ladies, gentlemen, and dear graduates, IPMI Business School is always something in my heart. You know, to me, IPMI is always the best. There are three, at least, reasons, three reasons why I said that IPMI is simply the best. One, it is the best because IPMI leaders, IPMI lecturers, and IPMI faculty staff, they are all great. It is the best because IPMI is always with up-to-date teaching materials. And also, most importantly, it is the best because of the students and how they understand and support each other. I believe you share the same uh, you know, vision and uh, view uh, with me also today. To me, and the last one is very, very 
and super important. I thank all my IPMI professors. I have Pak Dari Habir, Dari Habir here, uh, who taught me our organization behavior, you know, back 15 years ago. And also my classmates who allow me to chew my apples, my snack, eat my snack, and drink my juice inside the class, which I believe that no other school, ordinary school, can allow that. But actually, I was pregnant during my study uh, at IPMI that time. So to me, IPMI is the best because IPMI is a pregnant, woman-friendly, and full-understanding business school. <laughs> graduates, graduates, why I say you are so lucky is not just because of the above, but also the fact that IPMI has an amazingly progressive curriculum. Before I graduated, e-commerce were barely the talk of the town. Now that the internet is rapidly advancing, and now we hear every day, every day disruptive technologies have come to light. And I remember that back 15 years ago, we already had e-commerce classes in IPMI. So I think we should be proud of it. IPMI, yes. IPMI also teaches us the soft skills needed in diving into the business world. They taught us about values, professional attitudes, and business ethics. In fact, business ethics was my uh, favorite subject. I liked that very much. I always considered myself lucky to be surrounded by friends and fellow IPMI graduates who share the same values and positive attitudes regarding professional life. Now, I'm the chairwoman and CEO of Indonesia Exim Bank, which holds more than 100 trillion rupiah in assets, impacting Indonesia's, Indonesia's export development. I'm assigned to be a banker now, an Exim banker, and it's quite a challenge, so to say. However, the things I learned at, at IPMI, such as working with solid integer values, ethics, fair process, guides me, guides my way in managing this new company. I believe that passion, commitment, perseverance, and vast networks should be the key capitals in every success, both in career and personal life. Through me, I should become a visionary, and as pa Jimmy mentioned, transformational leader who focuses on purpose that brings benefits to others. Graduates, I know that you have the power to land wherever you aim, so stretch your arms out to your dreams. No matter how high they are, grab it and seize the chance. You reach them, I'm sure of it. So last but not least, I think let us remember the, the phrases in the Indonesia Raya song, the second stanza that we just sang together today. Sadarlah hatinya, sadarlah budinya untuk Indonesia Raya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.